guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are going to get a little bit busy. Yes, don't, uh, don't hate. I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, and that is Surfshark. Right now, with it being the holiday season, and uh, man, old Black Friday is in the air, you can actually use Surfshark to get an advantage on some of these deals. Surfshark is a VPN. A VPN is going to allow you to be able to change your location. Say you want to watch that awesome Netflix show, since you're stuck at home during quarantine, and it's in a different location. Like, I don't know, let's say Australia. You can actually change your location to Australia and watch that Australian film in the United States, and vice versa. You can actually watch US films while you're in China, for example. On top of all that, Surfshark also offers a plethora of other features, including clean web, which will prevent malware and phishing attempts from getting to you. Plus, you can forget ads and trackers ever existed. Surfshark also supports several devices and browsers, such as Chrome, Firefox. It also supports iOS and Mac OS, Android, Windows, Linux, and Fire TV. I know, it even supports your Fire TV. So if all of that sounds great to you, then head on over to surfshark.deals forward slash chosen and enter the promo code chosen for 84% off and four months extra for free and do it quick because you only have till the 1st of December. That again is surfshark.deals forward slash chosen and enter the promo code chosen. And guys, let's get on with today's video. So let's just say our storage is getting a little bit cramped. I can no longer put items inside our storage. We have it to capacity and um, yeah, let's just say I don't really like the crafting in it either. So what can we do today to substitute this storage? Well, I think refined storage is gonna be a easy and accessible option early on. To get into refined storage, we really don't need much. Unlike Applied Energistics, which I plan on getting into later, Applied Energistics does require a bit more to get into um, and a lot more resources to get into as well. All we need to get into refined storage is a little bit of slime, which we luckily got already, and we need ourselves some quartz, mainly, mainly a bunch of quartz and a little bit of iron along with a diamond simply for this. And we also need a diamond for this. So we need about three diamonds or so. And then we're gonna need some gold. And I think that's about it. Like not, not a lot of resources. And we, can, we should be able to get a lot of those just by simply going to the nether and also mining a little bit more. Um, so when it comes to the nether, I did go ahead and make a pathway over here. Of course, I am not going the, the way of the path, um, but this is the path to our nether portal. It, of course, goes around. I just haven't fully finished this area off. So let's head into the nether, um, and I'm going to just use the building blocks from in here to be able to build, and hopefully we can grab some quartz. Why? Why is this a thing? Why is there literally a creeper right... <laughs> I swear there's creepers everywhere. I'm so done. I did read you guys' comments about creepers, by the way, um, that I could definitely set up the config. Oh, God. This guy's after me as well. He does not look friendly whatsoever and has a lot of health. This is a brute. You guys said these guys, no matter if you're wearing gold or not, will come after you. Okay, so uh, no time for a breath here. We have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from this bastion that we are so close to. Why did I spawn right next to a bastion? I have no idea. Oh, up there seems like a good source of material. So let's head up. I got to be careful as well. Uh, let's put this in my offhand. There we go. Because you don't want to mine into a lava pocket while mining up. Ooh, crimson ore. I'll take that. That, uh, that's a, a mining material. Oh my gosh, this is like the worst, like, nether spawn ever right here. Well, I gotta be careful, there's an enderman. So that's kind of like the new meta of Minecraft, right? It's, it's like you come to the nether to farm enderman now. So weird. So weird that that's like the new, the new meta of, of regular vanilla Minecraft. I mean, it's just... I guess because they're so prevalent inside the warped forests that it's they're so easy to find, so you might as well come here to do that. Let's see. Let's go ahead. I'm hoping that I can just find a good amount of surface. Oh, man. It, everything's in the roof. Okay. So, right here is a bunch more of that uh, crimson iron. This I should be fine to mine. This will give us some nuggets. But what I really want is this elusive... Oh, there's some There's some right there. 
this elusive quartz that's just hiding out just out of our reach. There we go. Okay. I've got to mine up quite a bit of this. I'm going to say, like, at least three stacks of it by the time I leave here. I need at least a, three of them. And then hopefully we can, like, discover the fortress while we're in here. Might as well. Also, grabbing some glowstone probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Getting all of this material is always a good idea. So I've made my way to a warped forest. Uh, I hate bridging, but uh, I guess cork makes it a little easier, right? If this is in one of my main hands, this over here. Can't I? Yeah, I can just bridge like this. Oh, that's so much easier. Thank you, Cork, for that amazing feature. You can either even bridge down, I believe. Like, you can place a block under this block. Because I thought you could. Maybe not. Maybe because we're so close to being able to place a block. All right, so here we are. This, These blocks I really like. I really like this warped block. And there's, like, some kind of nether thing over here. I don't know... Enderman was looking at me funny. <laughs> I, I don't know what to expect. I know I need to uh, make my way down here. That is some creepy sounds, man. Oh my goodness. I've never been so frightened of this dimension. <laughs> I guess it's because I'm not really super prepared for this dimension. Oh man, Mr. Enderman, I don't know what you're doing, but it's not fun. Okay, so we are here. This biome is super scary, by the way. Um, this one, not so much. It's a bit more calm and collected, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, but that's just because it's Endermen you have to worry about, and they're kind of a peaceful creature, kind of. Kind of? Are they a peaceful creature? I, I think they are. I want to kind of see what this has to offer. Okay, so there's a chest... <laughs> And it's got some gold, more obsidian, more the crimson, and a gold sword. We also have crying obsidian. I don't know if we can mine that. No, our pick te technically, I guess, isn't diamond level. That's good to know, though. Oh, there's a gold block. That could be useful. I'll take that. I think there's normally another gold block in here as well. Could be wrong. I thought there was another gold block potentially in there. I do want to grab this, though, because that's what I'm after. Also, by the way, I did upgrade my backpack. Um, I did this earlier. All, I, all you got to do is just add more leather and uh, more... Oh, that sound is horrifying. You just got to add more leather um, and more wool. Just literally just four more pieces of each. Super simple, so I figured I would just go ahead and make it. All right. You're getting... I don't want to get lost. Um, I do kind of have a way to get back, but I, I still don't want to get lost. In here and yes I do know there's like a set home and stuff but as I mentioned before I don't really want to use that when I do know there's other mods that do have ways of teleporting back and forth I hear it you know what the, what am I doing I'm act I'm not after any of this I'm a I'm after I'm after netherrack I uh, not netherrack sorry I'm after uh quartz what what am I doing I need to be finding some quartz finally I'm on the ground oh my goodness all the way up there is our our uh, portal. <laughs> so, whew, I've gone a long way. So, we were just over here. Now, I'm all the way over here. Yeah, that's me. Um, and I figure on the floor down here will be a lot easier to find all of this nether quartz. And I was right. And yeah, there's a whole bunch down here. So, I'm now back at my base. I have all my resources. One quick thing I wanted to do. You guys said to click on my map here and then to actually protect my chunks. So... To do that, I got, I have to go to claim chunks here, and then I can just protect them. There we go. Um, and this is hopefully supposed to protect them. We can also chunk load via this way. So if that's something else I want to do, I can also do that. Um, so this is going to protect the chunks around my base and protect my base, hopefully, from creeper explosions so I don't have to repair any more holes because I am tired of fixing holes. The creepers, man, they're just hole generators. It's just all they are. They're just... Or just, I just, why? Why Why do they have to exist? Honestly, to get started with refined storage, I think we can get away with literally one of these. Like, just one slime. 
I think that'll get us at least the base because I was looking at the 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 amount that we need. So we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, and seven processors in order to originally get started with this. Um, so these are the, I mean, just at least to get the machines because we still need one in order to actually make this. Actually, we don't even need it for that, honestly. So really, yeah, that's all we need. <laughs> so even to get our, our base storage disk, we don't even need a processor. Um, so all the processors that we're going to need, I believe, if I take a look here, is going to be one diamond here, two diamond, three diamonds. So three diamonds. And then we're going to need for the crafting grid itself, we're needing an iron, two iron, and then two gold. So two iron, two gold, three diamond. That is all we're going to need. Um, two gold three iron, which I have all the iron stored in here because it's been processing for a little while. Um, and yeah, that's literally it. Uh, and to make these processors, if we take a look, uh, this right here, all we need is redstone, silicon, and then the actual um, process binding itself. So this is why I said this is probably the, the easiest one to get into as far as far um, as far as getting into a storage mod goes. I think this is probably the uh, the easiest out of all of them. So literally just crafting. Um, let's see. Don't I have redstone? I have redstone iron. I have this. And all I'm missing is this, which is just uh, cooked up nether quartz. So if you want an easy way to get into the storage mod, by all means, this is probably the easiest. So we need three of these, two iron and two gold. And then we just need to cook these. So we just need to smelt them. So add them into our smelter. We put them first in line here. They should cook up next. And that is all we need in order to make this. I mean, other than this uh, this quartz here, which we just need to make some machines, machine casings, which just requires a piece of stone in the middle is what it looks like. The reason I'm showing the crafts is I just want to show you how easy it is to actually make this. Now, this is going to get charged up because of our capacitor, but Normally, of course, you'd have to hook up some power to it. That's the only thing that we're going to need is we're going to need a little bit of power for this. Um, so as far as the crafting grid goes, we can actually dye this grid. Just something that I found was kind of new. Um, I know you could apply colors to applied energistics, but now you can apply colors to your refined storage grids, which um, pretty nifty. So here's our grid. Now, as far as the crafting grid goes, we'll make that here shortly. Um, this is going to just need a chest. And that, I mean, it's so, that's, it's so simple to get into this mod. I love it. So a chest and then might as well grab a crafting table just to throw that in there. And we are about to have ourselves a system set up. So let's get into the disc. There we go. Disc drive. And then last but not least, we need to turn this actually into a crafting grid. And I believe this can be dyed as well. So if I want this any particular color, I can do that, which I probably will do. Since we can do it, might as well do it. And what colors do I want? Do I have any, um, let's see, I have yellow. I thought I had yellow dye, I was like a sunflower should work, right? Bone meal, there we go. And we'll just plant this down and we'll just grow flowers from it. There we go, there's yellow dye. Okay, so the reason I want this is because of course my favorite color is orange. So I of course want my screen to be orange. Can we color that? Yes, we can. Can we color the controller? <gasps> we can change the color of the controller. I don't think a disk drive has a color though. No. So we have a different colored controller. Oh, this is sick looking. This is pretty cool. And all we gotta do is hook up some power to it. So what do I wanna do, what do, I wanna do for power? I think right now I'm gonna take this cause I'm gonna replace this with a new one. And then what we can do is I'm just gonna set it up in here. Um, and we're gonna have our ME system set up here. How about we do like the controller up top or the controller right here. How about the controller right here? On top, we'll place the Sterling generator and we'll just rotate that so it's powering that. And then right here will be our grid itself right there. The bottom will be our disk drive. And now we have a storage system. Wow, those buttons are huge now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got to probably remove <laughs> that from over here. 
Those buttons are huge. Can we stretch it? There we go. So if you make the size small, it fixes it. That's so funny. So I wanted to see how many, uh, how large of a storage we can actually make to get started. So right here, this will at least get us two 4Ks, I think. So these can be used to make 4K storage parts, but you see it's gonna cost some processors to do that. And it's definitely worth it. So that's gonna be eight iron, eight iron, and then another set of these. And that should get me what I need. So eight iron. There we go. And all we got to do is cook those up and then we have ourselves some storage and we can start moving all of our stuff. I think 8K uh, worth of storage, it's 8,000 items. That should hopefully hold at least the amount of items that we have. If not, of course, once we get in there, things will be a little bit easier to craft from. Actually, I think I have enough for a 16K. The more I look at this, because I ended up making, I think I just was out of glass. Uh, I totally had enough glass, so now I should be able to make more of these. So to get that to that, we need some gold. Okay, so really, the only thing I need is four more of the, yeah, we need four more iron and four gold. Yeah, four iron, four gold. Perfect. So that should be all we need, and then we can get a 16K. That should totally hold all of our items. So I now should be able to make that 16K drive. There we go. And this is gonna be our first storage. Wow, and I can now get all of my items in here. Look at this, so much nicer. Actually, all of these items I can now store and crafting should be a whole lot better. At least I hope. Now, the good thing is, is I can actually just bring this block with me and take it down here for right now and just use it down here to swap my items back and forth um, because this is sort of a mobile uh, sort of storage. So I can actually just like drag, get all my items in here. And you, you're gonna kind of see how much 16K actually is because it is quite a bit. You can see right here, I'm barely touching the surface of this 16K and this is the amount of items I've already thrown in here. So yeah, and hopefully this will be able to store, I think it should be able to store all of it uh, it's not based on stacks, though. Uh, this is based on individual items. So it's one item equals one. And so totally different than applied energistics and also this, which is based off a of stack. So you could have a technically a single item in here like this fence or this uh, this iron helmet. This equals one stack. So really, you end up with a lot of lost uh, storage space because of that. Different with refined storage. Oh, the nice thing about having refined storage is I can just search for a lever. It's gonna find a stone. It doesn't really care what the stone is. Like it's going to pull it regardless and actually allow me to craft unlike, unlike our uh, RF tools. So I do love RF tools for certain things. Storage is not exactly one of them, um, but this is nice. Like it also works as like a good storage. Like you can use RF tools in conjunction with this mod. Um, it does work as a storage interface, but as far as crafting, it, yeah, nothing kind of beats Applied Energistics and Refined Storage. They're both insanely nice. Now, to be as efficient as possible with what we have, we have limited resources, right? Um, I can turn this to only work with Redstone Signal. And now what I can do is I can slap a lever on here. And now anytime that I want to activate our storage, all I have to do is flip a lever. Now there's other things I can do as well. I could technically have a pressure plate that I could stand on down here. And so long as I'm on, on the pressure plate, it will activate our storage. Um, that is one thing that I could potentially do. Um, I think that setting up redstone for that would not be all that difficult. We would just need to get the redstone signal to travel up. Um, but for right now, a lever is going to be more than sufficient. As you can see, it kicks it on and we don't end up wasting power here. We could also redstone power the dynamo, but at this point, this is just as good. And because, yeah, if you leave it running, it's going to use five RF per tick, as you can see at the moment. So now that we have refined storage, oh, I tell you what, mm, I just love being able to craft stuff now. Um, as far as making another dynamo, this is going to be so much easier because I can actually search by mod. So thermal now, because in the inside of the RF tools, you weren't able to do that. So if I search uh, thermal over here, uh, you can see now I can see all of my thermal stuff from that mod. So one thing I'm gonna need is the wrench, but I'm also gonna go ahead and make another dynamo. The good thing is, is I can actually make this a lot, a lot faster because I can see what I'm missing. 
So now when I hover over this, I can tell that I have everything for the craft. Uh, if I go to make another one, you notice that these two items are missing. Now if I hover over this, you can see it shows me the missing items. Um, that wasn't the case with the refined storage. So it makes it a lot easier for me to know what I do and don't have uh, so I can make these uh, things a lot quicker. And of course, I just can throw this back in and we have things up and running. All I gotta do is grab some coal, which I'm gonna need to farm a bit more of as we're getting pretty low on it. Uh, but I should be able to go ahead and charge this. It's already been charging a little bit with our flux capacitor. Not the not to be confused with the flux capacitor that was in Back to the Future, <laughs> but uh, it still does some nice charging here. So all I gotta do is let this charge up just a tiny bit. I'm gonna let that run. Uh, I wanna get some land prepped because I think in the next episode, we're gonna be working on uh, doing a few things. We're gonna be working on bees. I want to get started with the resourceful bees. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully it's gonna be fun and uh, hopefully it allows me to be able to move things around and be able to get it set up at my base and get things looking good. So I went ahead and hopped into the settings menu uh, so that way I could change some, some controls. I always have to do that for building gadgets. I went ahead and set the menu setting to G so I can access the menu. This is really all I need. I don't need any of the other features as everything is pretty much here. So long as I can hold this button down, I can access everything. So I really like the build to me feature. Um, and then I can change how far I want this to go. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you have it on here, but if you want like a vertical column or a horizontal column, use the range. If I set this to one and I have it set to build to me, it should build to me as long as I have the block selected. So shift right click on the block. This is building gadgets, by the way, from good old dire wolf. And you can see if I have it set to build to me, I can actually build it right to me, which makes like flattening out land like this so much quicker than doing it by hand. Even using like some kind of wand would be, you know, pretty, pretty time consuming. This is so fast because uh, it doesn't really care what blocks you have in front of it. It's just going to go. Look at this. Perfect. I can get these done so quick and we can get this land flattened out uh, pretty, pretty quickly. So like the good use about this though, the good part about this is I can stand right here and this is where I want this to end. And so I stand on this block. Well, I'm now gonna have it in there and vice versa. And the same thing's gonna happen here. So I can kind of sculpt this out how I want it to be sculpted out. Look at this, like perfect. So long as we have enough dirt, that is another thing. I need to make sure I have enough dirt. So man, making this area nice and flat, look how easy this is. So much nicer. Look at that. And we have this nice little drop down, uh, which should work out just fine. Like this is a, a large amount of uh, space that we have here. So I should be able to just easily get this set up. I can go ahead and have a drop down here, have some steps, and we have a nice little path that is going to lead hopefully into a bee sanctuary. That's kind of what I'm wanting to go for. So. Since we are diving into bees a little bit, we should probably get a few bees. Um, and we can actually use these jars to catch those resourceful bees that we've seen sort of buzzing around. Now, we're not going to find them at night. However, we will find bees in their hives at night, but we won't be able to find bees just out roaming uh, as they do go in their hive at night. So I do need to sleep and hopefully before that zombie gets here. So off I go to find some bees. Now, I do know that there was some bees over here. And you can kind of see bees show up on the minimap. So we should be able to hopefully find some bees fairly quickly and hopefully they're good ones. Um, all right, so the, there's apparently a creeper right here. Yep, that's true. There is a bee though, or bees over here. And I think we're like in one of the perfect biomes to be able to find bees. Look at this. Oh, that is gonna hurt. Ah, I missed the water. Okay, so bees to my right over here, apparently. They're somewhere over here, somewhere to be found. Hopefully they're, oh, this is actually a, a Minecraft bee, like a regular Minecraft bee. Look at that. So, and, hey, and there's the hive. Okay. So where did it go? There it went. All right. So here it is. It's, it's pollinating. It's collecting all of the pollen. Uh, it's probably going to go to the beehive itself and it's inside. Now, I don't think we can just break these hives. 
Um, we would need like a smoker. And there is a smoker that we could potentially use. Interesting. Okay, so at least I know there's a hive here. That's pretty easy to recognize. But there are other bees that do just kind of float around. And that's the ones I'm kind of after. So right here's a resourceful bee nest. Now I don't know if we can just break them normally. Oh, we can. Okay. So this is just like a, a standard nest that you can find laying around. I think you can put bees in this though. Um, It does seem like that might be the case. However, we st I'm still looking for bees. Oh, here's some hives as well. I'm going to grab all of these uh, while I'm out here. I haven't found any bees yet, but hey, look, I found another waystone. I'll definitely take that. So I see one bee, even though I'm being chased. There is a bee over here. Let's see if we can capture it. I don't know what kind of bee it is. It looks really gross. Like, a, is it a skeleton bee? It looks like a skeleton. Oh my gosh, these woods are dangerous. So this is a special looking bee. What is it? A mason bee. Okay. So we have a mason bee, and I'm assuming that's like bricks and stuff and rocks. A skeleton one, I would really like like a slime one. That'd be nice. Uh, slime one or, or really any other resource. But these are going to be nice to kind of get started with. So let's go ahead and try this out. I ended up getting a bunch of these like regular resourceful bee nests. So maybe I can put them together. See what comes of them. Um, so all I need to do is do, I'll do like a bee here. I think you can right click them on here. So there we go. That bee is in there. The skeleton bee I can put there. It went in. And the mason bee? Maybe not the mason bee. Okay, maybe the mason bee requires something specific. Um, so we do have this bee nest. Don't know if this probably requires like something with stone. I'm assuming maybe nearby. Maybe it just doesn't have the, the stuff nearby. Um, but I at least want the vanilla bee to get started. Like that's kind of what I want. Um, and then once we see some honey, we should hopefully be able to see some scoops. So that's kind of what I want to see is this right here. I want to see the bees coming out, doing their thing, and then filling this with honeycombs. So we should hopefully be able to get some bee work done within the next few episodes. I'm kind of excited to get into bees. Guys, as always, I want to give a huge shout out to one of my patrons, and that is going to go to Samuel Lee. Thank you so much for being a Patreon. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Of course, if you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give the video a beautiful thumbs up. Guys, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you would, check out my Discord. We have an awesome community hanging out over there at all times. Be sure to join the Discord. It's awesome. Guys, you won't miss out. And, guys, I hope you uh, find me over at Twitch. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect. And uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, like I said, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.